Aristotle distinguished between two types of justice, distributive justice and corrective justice. Let's take a look. Distributive justice concerns what measurement should be used to allocate society's resources. For instance, this type of justice would include issues such as affirmative action, welfare, free schooling, and other goods and opportunities, and how society distributes them among its members. Corrective justice concerns unfair advantage or undeserved harm between people. Justice demands remedies or compensations to the injured party. The concept of appropriate and just allocation of society's goods and interests is one of the central themes in all discussions of justice. The goods that one might possess include the following, economic goods like income or property, opportunities for development like education or citizenship, and recognition, honor, or status. If there was enough of everything for everyone, goods, opportunity, and status, issues of distributive justice are less likely to arise. The various theories can be categorized as egalitarian, Marxist, libertarian, utilitarian, depending on the factors that are emphasized. Egalitarian theories start with the basic premise of equality or equal shares for all. Marxist theories place the need above desert or entitlement. Libertarian theories promote freedom from interference by government in social and economic spheres. Therefore, merit, entitlement, and productive contributions are given weight over equal shares. Utilitarian theories attempt to maximize benefits for individuals and society with a mixed emphasis on entitlements and needs. John Rawls' theory of justice is perhaps the best-known modern conception of justice. He combines utilitarian and right-based concepts in his theory of distributive justice. Basically, he proposes an equal distribution unless a different distribution would benefit the disadvantaged. Rawls believes that any inequities of all society should be to the benefit of those who are the least advantaged. Each person is to have an equal right to the most extensive total system of basic liberties comparable with any similar system of liberty for all. Social and economic inequities are arranged so that they're both reasonably expected to be everybody's advantage and attached to positions and offices open to all, except when inequity is to the advantage of those least well off. Rawls uses a heuristic device that he calls the veil of ignorance to explain the idea that people will develop fair principles of distribution only if they're ignorant of their position in society, for they just as easily may be have-nots as haves. There is a connection between distributive and corrective justice. If it is true that socioeconomic status predicts criminal predisposition, should we care? Is it fair that poor people tend to end up in prison and those with more resources usually receive less punishment?